What's up everybody? Welcome back to another movie review. Today I am continuing on my DC movie rewatch with 2018's Aquaman. And that would be my boy Jason Momoa covered in those Atlantean tattoos, the Hawaiian tribal tat, whatever you want to call them. He makes Aquaman, right? And Aquaman, notoriously from the comics and every animated cartoon I watched, always kind of just reminded me of like Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, but this Jason Momoa Aquaman, when it came out, everyone was shocked on how cool Aquaman looked. And then the movie looked phenomenal and it was actually a solid ass film and Nicole Kidman's his mom and Boba Fett's his dad, Tamora Morrison and uh, Patrick Wilson's his brother, Orm, and they have uh, Dolph Lundgren in there as Amber Heard's father I believe. Uh, the only thing that looks weird in this movie to me is the underwater hair, if you know what I mean, because it's all like CGI. And I feel like they could have filmed underwater, but that probably would have been hard to record lines and speak underwater. So I understand why they didn't. But, you know, it's just still a strange choice. It look, looks pretty odd every time you see it. You're like, hmm. Um, but they found clever ways around that. They create air bubbles underwater so that they could talk underwater, you know. And it can, we can see their faces and it's not this weird water element. Willem Dafoe's in there too, right? Like the cast is pretty spectacular here. And I do love Jason Momoa. So this first movie, I gave three and a half out of five stars, you know? And I like this first one a lot more than the second one. This movie deserves more like a seven out of ten. Um, maybe even like a seven five out of ten. I, I really do enjoy it. It's not, you know, the greatest movie I've ever seen. And it is still DC Universe, so it's questionable. But things like, you know, the, the score in this movie. Like the every time Black Manta shows up. Boom, boom, boom. You know, it's like this like heavy bassy like but also fed through like a a synthesizer. Like it, it makes a cool noise and you know, the villain's pretty solid, even though Black Manta's design as a character looks pretty weird with the giant, you know, stewy head um with the giant glowing red eyes. But hey, uh Yaya El Du Matim, I believe is his name. He does a pretty good job, but I'm also curious to see what his next role is gonna be in this new Wonder Man TV show. Uh, comment below if anyone's got any um, news or ideas on what that's going to be like. But we got Comic Con coming up right around the corner, so we should be getting a ton of DC news and Marvel news coming from that. Uh, um, D Deadpool and Wolverine comes out next week, so I'm ecstatic to see that. I'm definitely going to go see it the day it comes out with my buddy Lane Gone. We already have tickets. Do you have your tickets yet? Comment below. I'm not sure what kind of DC updates are going to be coming from Comic-Con. I know James Gunn's not going to be there, but I'm, I also heard that the, the Penguin TV show is going to be there, so maybe Matt Reeves, maybe uh, The Batman Part 2 updates type of thing. I don't know, man, but next week's going to be nuts. And the rest of this week's going to be pretty nuts. Tomorrow, the Acolyte finale will be coming to the channel. I'll be breaking down that. That actually comes out tonight. I'm filming this Tuesday morning. Uh, so, Acolyte comes out tonight. That's hype. Uh, I believe tomorrow or Thursday, the Boys season finale for season four comes out. That's pretty crazy, that whole season. There's still a couple more episodes of House of the Dragons. That's been coming out on Sundays. The Bear just recently dropped all at once. I finished that. That was pretty awesome. Uh, and I just recently watched X-Men Apocalypse, The Wolverine, and Deadpool 1. I'm still doing my little Fox rewatch. Uh, I've already reviewed those movies. Those are up on the channel. You can go search for those and check those out. Yeah, continuing on my little Marvel rewatch for Deadpool and Wolverine, getting refreshed and fresh in the mind, those Deadpool movies. So, yeah, stay tuned, y'all, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. We'll be reviewing Shazam 2019 and moving on through my DC movie rewatch. And then upcoming, we have the Joker movie, which I really, really wanted to rewatch. So that I'm glad I'm finally caught up to 
2019's Joker. And then there's also Birds of Prey and a Woman, uh, Wonder Woman 1984. So a bunch of movie reviews on the way to the channel, so stay tuned for those. A bunch of Comically Boston bonus episodes breaking down your favorite nerdy TV shows. And then we should be back regularly scheduled program, the Comically Boston Weekly Nerdy News, on my Mondays as soon as House of the Dragon starts wrapping up, you know what I mean? Uh, but, thank you guys for watching. If you've made it this far in the video and you'd like to support me more, drop a like, drop a comment. Click the links down in my description below. Go check out my other social medias. Thank you so much. My name is Big Cam, and I will see you beautiful people in the next video. Peace.